All right, this one's a doozy. Let's make it happen. First one. There's something I want to show you. Let's go ahead and bring in a cube and call it good. I'm going to move that cube. M. I'm going to click right here on the right. Let's go ahead and put that in the middle for the belly. Okay, now let's look at this for a second. Now, if I click and hold, it's going to rotate the object. Okay. If I um, hold the middle mouse button, it's going to pan. And I actually already changed it. So let's change it back. This is what it was on. This is perspective. So as I pan, you can see it starts to reveal. It's kind of twisting. Right? I don't really like that sometimes. So if you push the space bar, it switches over to orthographic. And this is the one I worked in a lot. So that I can just, if I'm holding the middle mouse button, I can slide around and kind of like check things out. And then I can uh, still rotate if I need to. Right? And then, uh, so that's our orthographic camera or our perspective camera. So again, perspective is going to like kind of rotate around a little bit as you pan. But an orthographic camera is just going to slide left and right. And I like that one a little bit better. Uh, one thing that makes this easier is changing the opacity or how the whether we can see through it to 50. Right? So this gives me a better idea of getting the shape the right place. So I'm moving it. I'm going to push S to scale it. So now I'm going to change the size of this. I'm just making a box before I make the belly. Okay, so I'm, I'm right about there. It's, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm kind of at that seam because the belly's going to pop out there and the upper body's going to go out that direction. So then let's take a look at our other view. How does that look? And I'm going to scale this up to that edge and out to that edge. We, it's going to round out these edges. So I'm not worried about those corners being too big. It's okay to have them sticking out just a little bit there. So that looks pretty good. There's our first box and it's matching our drawing pretty well. Now, what we can do is select a face. So I got a face and I'm going to select this base out here. All right? Let's go ahead and close that scale tool. So I'm selecting that face and I'm going to modify it with an extrusion. So it's bumping out, right? And then I still have that face selected. So I'm going to push M for move. And then I can come down here and move it right there. Okay. And I'm going to push S for scale. And then I can bring down this part of it. I can bring this part up. Okay. And then, you know, I, I can't really see through this one too well as far as, and we're going to kind of have to guess, but I am going to bring that front of the belly in just a little bit. Okay. And I kind of want it just a little bit lower there. Yeah. So you got to kind of envision what these are going to look like when we round it out here in a minute. All right. I'm done with that. I'm going to deselect it. I'm going to select the top base and we're going to make another extrusion out of that one. Okay. I'm good to go on that. I like to scale it right away or move it. Let's move it first. I'm going to look at the side. I'm going to get it with the top. I'm going to push S for scale. I'm going to bring this in. I kind of like that front part a little straighter up. So let's kind of leave that. And that just depends on what the round's going to look like. And then we can come back here to our other view and then drag those in as well. So there we go. That's looking pretty good on that view. Looking pretty good there. Nice. All right. So let's take a look what's this going to look like when we round it out. So if I deselect faces, so now it's just the object selected and I can modify and round it out preview right away. I think the defaults on like one. <laughs> and so that's kind of cubic and then I like three. Looks pretty good. Let's take a look. How well do we match? It looks pretty good. You know, maybe I bring that back corner down um, on this view. How's that look? And maybe just the bottom down. Okay. So now I'm going to cancel this because I got an idea of how I need to change it before I do that. So I'm going to click on this bottom edge. I wanted to bring that edge down a little bit. So I clicked on that bottom edge. I'm going to push M for move. And I'm just going to move that down and out just a little bit. Okay. And now after that, let's go ahead and unselect the edge. Modify. Round. Preview. That fits better. And again, we're not going for perfection here. So, you know, maybe maybe I could bring that up a little bit. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. So let's just go ahead and grab that one. Cancel that. Oh, cancel. Yeah, I do want to redo it. Edge. I want that edge 
right there. And then I'm going to take a look. I'm going to move. I'm going to move it up and out just a little bit. Okay. And I think I kind of want to deselect that edge and get this edge. Move this one down just a little bit. Like slant that those shoulders a little bit. And let's close that. We deselect the edges or and then we'll go ahead and round it out again with preview. How did we look that time? I'm liking it better. All right, there is our first object, the body. Good luck. We could even rename it. Let's call it the body. Have a good one.